Hi, I'm John Pellet. I'm Becky Pellet. And I grew up in a Christian home. We went to church every Sunday. I was baptized, confirmed, did all the right things. Then we got married, and after that, we kind of got away from church. Our main priority at that time when we got married was getting a house. I wanted new furniture. Everything we had was hand-me-downs. We wanted to have our first child in five years. That was our goal. And we pretty much every weekend partied with family and friends. We were doing a lot of partying and not really planning too much ahead other than wanting a home and, and children. But we didn't know where it was going to go from there. After five years of marriage, we did exactly what we had told all our families we were going to do. We were going to have a baby, and I got pregnant. It was a lot of excitement because it was the first grandchild on both sides. So I had lots of baby showers. We had our nursery all set up. My pregnancy was normal up until the last month. I started getting high blood pressure and I went to see my doctor and he couldn't get the heartbeat anymore. He told us me to go home and rest. I went home that night and I went into labor. We went to the hospital and he pretty, they pretty much determined the baby had died. I was in my last month and I went through labor and delivery and delivered a stillborn baby daughter. They said that the cord had been wrapped. There was a knot in her cord that had cut off her oxygen. And so she had died in the womb. We were devastated. The families were all devastated. This was the first grandchild. And so we went home empty handed. We had to do a funeral. It was life changing, obviously. I, you know, Becky had to go through 19 hours of labor knowing the baby, you know, was, was dead. And, you know, I, I, I didn't grow up in a Christian home. My head wasn't there, you know. Um, but I went home that night and probably sat there in the dark you know, all night long and cried and, and beat myself up. I was doing some drugs then, you know, and at that point in our life, you know, there was even a moment there where I was even thinking about spraying. And so I, th I thought, you know, this is my punishment for all those things. A pastor came to see me in the hospital within an hour after I gave birth. Very nice, and he prayed with me, and he told me that they had lost a baby, and he anointed me with oil. You know, never experienced, you know, God at all, but at that time, you know, then he came to me, and, you know, in that, hor that horrible, difficult time, um, and, uh, and I experienced his presence. So we had to bury our baby. We had to pick out a burial plot. It was very devastating. I closed the nursery door and I said, I'm never going in there again until I have a baby to bring home. And I never did. We left that door closed. I got pregnant within six weeks after having her. So we eventually had our first child, Jennifer. But we started attending that pastor's church and we came to know the Lord through that church. I took a spiritual gift seminar at the church that we were at, but God's it's amazing what he can do, you know, and only he can do it sometimes, but I was in management. After the spiritual gifts thing, I, you know, I, I looked at careers that were compatible with those gifts, which was counseling and teaching, and I go, okay, you know, God, I got a family, you know, and, and all this stuff, and I, you know, if you want to use these gifts, you know, then uh, go for it, you know, show me how. And he did. Uh, and that's another testimony thing, how God put everything together, financially, time-wise, um, getting through all the hoops. It was amazing. And just totally changed my career, you know, from the, the, the management to uh, mental health, you know, psychology. And I look back now, I can see that, you know, he was, he was leading me there all the time. I did the spiritual gifts class too and found out what my spiritual gifts were. I was a social worker for 28 years. After I retired, I've now been with the Alpha Family Center. I do counseling there and I'm pretty much seeing the same clientele that I was at my former job, but now I get to do it because we're a Christian counseling center. I love that, that I can do that, that I'm using my gifts through there. And I was a hospice volunteer for 10 years and dealt with dying, did grief counseling. God's used me through the grief I had. Now I've helped other people through grief, losing children or loved ones. Yeah, that was the event though that, uh, that brought us. I always, now I say she was our 
a little angel sent from God because as a result of her life, you know, and loss of it, you know, it just totally set us on a new course, changed our life, you know, and brought us to Him. Even though I only had her for nine months, um, I'm really looking forward to being able to be reunited with her. And that's, that's so comforting knowing that you're going to be with your loved ones again someday. I really cher cherish that. God's good.